My friends Ed and Mary from E&M Gold Beekeeping are stopping by today to take a look at the bees. And before they get here, I want to clean out the bottom board. This is called a Freeman bottom board. And the idea is you put a little oil in it and the bees push the hive beetles. Hive beetles, if you don't know, they're just a menace to your beehive. And you want to get rid of them. So the hive beetles get pushed down into the bottom, fall into the vegetable oil and drown. So I'm just going to clean this out. It's got a couple of hive beetles in it. We'll take a quick look at it first. So there's definitely some hive beetles in here, some ants, and I'm just going to dump this out. I'm using a little sawdust to clean out the tray, and this works great. What are you doing, Ed? We're putting on a three inch shim. Then we're gonna put on some mini shims. Then we're putting on a five pound block of uh, sugar, hard sugar. I open up the butcher's paper. I splay out the wing, like wings. Helps cap capture some of the heat of the bees. Put this over the bees. It helps them get through the winter if they're low on food. We're going to tape it now with blue painter's tape. Because the bees can't really produce the propolis to seal it up. The cluster's right here at the top, which means they can't move up any further to eat. So I put this, go ahead, put that. Oh, I smell the bees. Okay. I'm put the sugar right on top of those little blocks. And then splay out, like, like I said before, the butcher's paper. Mm -hmm. Like that. The reason why I put the tape on is uh, to prevent this top three inch shim from moving. Just make it I find that the blue pa pa uh, painter's tape really uh, withstands the uh, winter elements pretty well. We have um, added uh, a sugar block to all of our nukes and any hungry hives that we've had going into winter. So uh, if they didn't, if they had plenty of honey, which yours probably did. Have enough honey stored, but we just added it because, prophylactically because the bees are on top too. Yeah. Once they're at the top, then they're eating whatever's around them, and so we've put this on them just to prevent starvation later in the winter. Have you always had to give them mm -mm. extra sugar? No, this it's more recent years that seem to have a a, a lighter uh, fall nectar flow, and they don't seem to be able to get enough. Um, also, early in the winter, yeah. the winters have been warm, and the bees are flying a lot, and because they fly a lot, they, they then eat, eat more. more. And then we found uh, two years ago in January, we went to our, to our 150 hives, and every single hive had no food left. Mm -hmm. And we were stunned, and we went to a friend of ours, we got 150 blocks, we fed them in January, we went back in March. end of March, and we fed them again, and we saved everyone. That's and and now this is the third year we're doing this and 20 years ago. We never saw this really. Yeah Something's changing in the flowers. We don't know what yeah We don't get as much honey in the fall like we used to we used to get a thousand pounds of extra fall honey 
and the last 10 years we haven't gotten any extra honey. We keep we leave let the it bees, all for the bees, bees and then supplement their food later. Just well. to make sure they make it through the winter yeah, and right. that way they've got a fresh yeah, start right. for the... They have enough things going against them anyway, so we don't want starvation to be the reason they die. Those were my friends Ed and Mary from enmgoldbeekeepers.com. Great people and they know a ton about bees. I'm really happy to have them giving me a hand. We're doing a little bit of a, a barter on building something for them in January and I'll make a video about it. Great people and if you like all natural bee products, Check them out at enmgoldbeekeepers.com. I'll have a link in the description. If you're wondering about the top bar hives, I haven't given up on them. I'm going to focus on the Langstraw hives this winter. This coming spring, I do plan to get a few packages of bees and giving the top bar hives another go. And a quick look at the garden while we're out here. The garden's been doing really well and we've been harvesting from the garden right up through today, which is almost the middle of December. And I've got plans for the garden for next year. I'm working with Park Seed. I'm not sure if this is going to happen, but the plan will be to build a elevated platform like my welding platform where the outdoor kitchen is. And it will be filled with 3 8 bluestone. And then the plan is to have four, maybe six of these planters inside the elevated deck. Another potential project for the spring the 2017 list is already getting pretty long, so I'm not sure if I'll get to it, but I would like to trim out the framing where the beehives are right now. You can see the bluestone gravel underneath the beehives. I'd like to trim out the framing with Epe and then have about a four foot square deck on either side of the beehives. And I think that would be a great place for a potted plant. It's been a while since we checked in on the bees, but I think they're doing pretty good. And we'll check back on them in maybe uh, four to six weeks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.